Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG Build Guide Edition. Today I'm ready to drop on you my new and refresh, refreshed Hail Hydra build. Now you've probably heard that this build has been nerfed. It is no longer viable, it no longer works, Hydra is garbage. Well I will tell you that this modified refreshed version as of yesterday live on stream, because the subathon is still going, I was able to push this to corruption 363. And it still has room for growth. I'm going to say that Hydra is around a 400 corruption build. So it still feels very, very strong if you like this play style for Rune Master. Now, as always, in the description is the build planner and the advanced loot filter. And for this video, for these modified build guides live on Twitch, I will go over the skills, passives, gear, idols, and uh, blessings, so you have everything you need. And at the end of the video, I will show you the gameplay so you can see Hail Hydra in action. So let's start off with the skills. And the skills are not changed, they're just modified. And the big difference is we are no longer using the interaction where we are triggering Flame Ward from Flame Rush going through Frostwall. That interaction, I tried it, it doesn't feel great. The, the cooldown on Frostwall being 12, it just doesn't feel great. So we've axed that. So we'll go through each skill one at a time. Fireball is unchanged. You still want the cast speed. You still want it being a free skill. You want the damage multiplicative. You want the base crit. You want it homing. You want it shredding fire resistance. And you want it making huge fireball bursts, which it does a lot of damage. People ask me all the time, Fireball Rune Bolt is way better. Now, Rune Bolt is different, but in my testing, I like Fireball better. That being said, if you prefer Rune Bolt, Bolt, you can actually use that. It doesn't change the build in any capacity. That is a personal choice. I like Fireball. Moving over to Flame Ward. We did modify this skill quite a bit. I have pulled the points out of Fire Base, and I have moved them up into the automated way of Flame Ward. Now, Flame Ward, you will still not trigger unless you want to, but for the most part, this is auto-triggered through stuns. So you know that little ding, ding. I'm not doing it very good. That's the sound it makes when you are being stunned. Every single time that happens, your flame ward will auto-trigger. So it'll give you, you'll, you'll get stunned, you'll get a boost of uh, ward and damage reduction, and you will get a boost in damage and we are taking two charges. So this is gonna happen quite often, and you're always gonna be able to take a couple hits for that damage reduction. It works really well. This is how I used to use it in the past, and we just brought back the old version of Flame Ward. Moving over to Frost Wall. Now, previously Frost Wall, we took it in its lightning variant. We are no longer doing that. We are now taking it in its fire variant. And again, your, and your, again, your fire wall is gonna shoot fireball. So it's going to synergize really good with using Fireball instead of using Rune Bolt. So here we're taking it in fire. We're getting multiplicative damage to chilled enemies. So make sure you have chill somewhere on your build. I am currently taking it on my weapon for a suffix. We are still getting Frenzy and Haste. We're still getting Cleanse. We're still getting Ward. And we are getting stronger Hydras based upon your Frost Wall. So you're still getting a lot of good stuff here. Still a lot of good stuff. Moving over to Flame Rush. Now, for this build, in order to trigger Hydras, you need to have a Lightning skill. And previously, we used Frost Wall. We're no longer using that, so now we have made Flame Rush our Lightning skill, and we had to reorganize the skill bar so that Flame Rush is the first skill. So again, you're still function the exact same way. Every single time you use Flame Rush and you have three runes, you're automatically going to drop a Hydra. Same thing. We just added one point into lightning. Last but not least, runic invocation. This has been tweaked just a little bit. I took a little extra cooldown so that we could manually trigger it. We're taking base crit. This is almost a guaranteed crit build, which feels really, really nice. You could focus on crit strike multiplier. And remember that Hydra is not a minion. So you just want as much fire, as much base fire, as much crit multiplier as you could find on here. And that is what we have taken from our runic invocation, including 24 base fire damage up here. This is practically unchanged. All right. So the big difference is we are no longer using this interaction, prepared wards. You could try it. I did it. 
and I did not like it. Those are the skills. Moving over to the passive tree. I went through it three different times. I did not move a singular point, okay? That doesn't mean that it can't be further refined, but as far as the passive tree, I did not see anything I wanted to move. The base tree is still the same. Life, intelligence, attack speed with cooldown, and crit multiplier to get our 20 points. Nothing in Spellblade. For Source, we are taking Arcane Momentum still, and we are taking Boost to cr Spell Critical Strike Chance per our Intelligence, Calculated Destruction. And then for Rune Master, we are boosting our Mana Burst, or our Ward Burst, through the top tree, taking Damage Reduction, we're taking more Spell Damage, we're taking Never Late, probably the best tree of any single passive point, and we are taking the traversal boost to cast speed. We're taking crit multiplier. Make sure you are always using a wand. This is a wand build. We're taking more damage with burning wind. We're boosting our intelligence. We're getting mana gained as threshold through rune stones. And we are taking rune word inferno. Last four points, jagged veil, which is again further going to boost your ward on crit. Pretty standard tree. It feels really, really good. Again, 363 corruption yesterday. We And we started at 203, so we were able to really boost it up. Now moving over to the gear, starting with the blessings. We're taking spell leech for some sustain. Mana. And the secret number for mana is 300. All right. Little tip. you got to have 300 mana. I will explain why. We have crit, strike, Avoidance, Endurance, and Physical. Now, if you have your Endurance somewhere else, you can dump this, and on here you can get Increased Fire Damage, or you can get Chance to Shred Fire Resistance. So three really good blessings here. For me, I want to be able to push higher Corruption, so I took more Survivability with our Endurance. But that is your choice. Okay. Going through the idols. Why do you want 300 mana? Well, because you get a boost based upon having 300 mana. Increase fire damage. This effect is doubled with 300 mana. And you have three of these. This is ward retention. We are using a throne of ambition to boost your survivability and damage. And then I just took mana and health single idols. On top of that, moving over to the gear, you will notice that there's nothing required for this build with the exception of a box of Hydra. And this is a unique that is designed for this build. The build is actually designed around it. And this is a level 36 common drop. If you're in Merchant's Guild, you can get them for practically free. If you're in Circle of Fortune, very easy to target farm. But you do want a box of Hydra as your relic. That is the only required unique. The rest on here, Helmet. Spell Crit if you have over 300 mana, Fire Penetration. Amulet, Oracle Amulet, Crit Strike Multiplier. Catalyst, Crystal Skull. Crit Strike Multiplier. Body Armor, this is new. Cast Speed and Base Spell Damage. And again, Fire Penetration, level to Fireball. Double Life. New Belt, this is Resistances, Fire, Mana, Health, Health. For both of our rings, you want Fire and Intelligence with Necrotic Resistance and Ward Decay. Boots, Intelligence, Movement, Speed, Life, Life. Gloves, Cast Speed, Intelligence, Life, Life. And our weapon. We are using a Dragon Horn Wand. Now, if you can't get your mana over 300, you could switch this out and you could snag a Crystal Wand. A Crystal Wand can give you up to 60 mana in the Implicit. So it's an easy way to get over 300. But if you already have the 300, you do want the added cast speed from the Dragon Horn Wand. But just a little tip if you're having a hard time getting over 300 mana. So that's the build. You saw the skills as far as the little refresh. You saw the passives, which are the same. You've now seen the blessings, the idols, and the updates and tweaks to gear. Hydra, is it as strong? No. No, it is not. And I know people are like, I don't want to play nerfed builds. Under the new corruption standards, 363 corruption is a lot. That is fully pushing end game. I was like, huh, 
I don't fully feel the nerf <clears throat> and the enemies are almost twice as strong. That shows that Hydra is still extremely viable. I like it. I think it's a fun play style. It's basically playing a minion build without a mi minion. They are fire sentries. It's fun. So that's the build. All the information is in the description, and I'm going to play the game play, gameplay for you in one second. But first, two asks at the end of the video. Ask number one, I'm hoping today is the day I have earned your subscription. I'm hoping today is the day you make the decision. Push that little red button. I would really appreciate it. But of course, only if you think I've earned it. And if I haven't earned it, I'm going to work harder for you. Ask number two, check out my Patreon. Thank you to the first 136 members that have signed up. I get asked all the time, what's the best way to support? And Patreon is it. It is the second link in the description because the first link will take you to the subathon where I am live recording this video. But the Patreon is great. Movie night's coming. Game night is coming. Exclusive content. VIP lounge. It is awesome. Second link in the description. I'm done. Enjoy some gameplay. Hopefully you're entertained or at least learn something. Aaron, out.